already back to the throughway here. What a beautiful day, Huts. We got ourselves a map. We did not have one of these yesterday, so that's nice. Sorry, Huts. Hitting the rumble stretch. Sorry, buddy boy. stopped here where we parked yesterday so that I can wash my windshield but there's nothing in these what about this one kind of yeah that looks gross all right well that was a failure we're just gonna have a dirty windshield <laughs> uh, are you okay with the dirty windshield you're so stinking cute. All right, let's go to tunnel view. Once again, I would like to present to you Yosemite's tunnel view. What? Oh, there's less people here today. That's awesome. We're a little bit earlier than we were yesterday, huh? I'm pretty excited to get out with me and go see the tunnel view. All right, let's go look. All right, we just stopped at Tunnel View here. Now we're gonna go drive down into the valley. I think it's like seven miles down the road, but yeah, we're gonna go drive down and walk through there. don't really know exactly where I'm going. I'm just kind of driving around down here and taking in the sights and it is pretty freaking amazing. I need to figure out somewhere to walk so that we can walk around and like check stuff out. Whoa! That's, that's a picture. Frame it. I really need to pee so I'm leaving Hudson in the car real quick and hoping that this building right up here has bathrooms because I gotta go we're out here walking no 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 up we're going towards lower Yosemite Falls trail we can see the falls good boy you guys it's amazing out here can't believe that I get to be here today with my boy that's Back up here, back up, up. Good boy. Oh my gosh. We got a sign. Lower Yosemite Falls. This direction.
It is freaking gorgeous out here. I think we're there. We're at the at the falls view. Hear the water? Distracted. The falls are right back there. We're gonna keep going. It was a fun stop though. There's like a rainbow in the water. I tried to film it. I don't know if it captured or not, but oh my gosh, it's amazing here. Just stopping to take a little break here. Listen to the waterfalls, enjoy the woods. And Hudson just had some water. We're just gonna take a small little break. I think we've walked about two miles already, so we'll rest our feet. There's Half Dome. We're seeing it all. We just got stopped by like three or four different groups of people who wanted to pet Hudson, so I would say he's a hit. This is why more parks should be dog friendly. A lot of people love him. Bow, 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 bow. What a gorgeous day. I never knew, but March is a good month to travel. Less crowds, nice weather. Meadows are wetlands. Okay. Nice. Good job. Nice. Good job. We're almost off of the boards and back onto pavement. We're loving our time in Yosemite. Oh. In this spot right here, we got Upper Yosemite Falls and Lower Yosemite Falls. That's the shot, buddy. capturing both of the falls behind us. All right, we're almost back to the car. We've seen the Yosemite Falls. Our next mission is to find Bridal Vow Falls. I don't know if he's allowed to walk around there, but I at least want to go drive and see him. And there's our car. We made it back. All right, we're on the road, we're driving, and we're gonna go drive to Bridal Vow Falls, which is like a 15 minute drive from here. Let's go see it. This right up here, this is Bridal Bell Falls. Let's 
pull over here. It's closed for construction. That's supposed to be where you can drive in to see Bridal Bell Falls. You see it through the trees? Wow, this is a bummer. Can we get a better view at least? Kind of. That's Bridal Bell Falls, guys. Through those trees. Well, continuing on. sad. We can't get closer to Bridal Bell Falls. We saw it, but like, not that greatly. Well, we're gonna go see if we can drive into Mariposa Grove. That would be fun. We'll try. We made it back through the tunnel. I guess we're not gonna walk through Mariposa Grove. That's a bummer. And the road is closed, so we can't even drive up it. Oh well, Bubba. Let's let's go to camp. Or let's park and see where what pizza places are around here. That sounds like a good idea. Ugh. I'm gonna look up pizza places. You just sit there and be pretty. All right, well, unfortunately, we do not have enough connection to look up pizza. So we're just gonna head back to the campsite and then we'll look up pizza because we do have connection there. Too bad we can't walk through Mariposa Grove, huh, bud? It's a bummer. I mean, I could, but you would have to sit in the car. That would not be fun. Just ordered some pizza. So I put in the order. We're like 20 minutes from the place and it should be ready in like 30 minutes. So we're just gonna drive there now. We made it to the pizza place. Round table pizza. We secured the goods. Now back to the Hutsey. And then a 20 minute drive back to camp. Look at him, he's so cute. We're gonna try the pizza. It's just pepperoni. Stuffed crust though. It's okay. It is not great. <coughs> it's still pizza though, so. If I was gonna rate it though, I think I would only give it like a five. It's pretty average, it's not like amazing. Still gonna eat it though. Back at our favorite spot. Hudson's like, yeah, let's get out of the car. Let's get out of the car, mom. Let's get out of the car. 
Let me park first, buddy. There we go. That feels pretty good. Now we can get out of the core. All right. Oh, it's like 1.30. Now we're gonna eat some more pizza. He'll have dinner in like an hour or two. But we're just gonna hang out. Smells like pizza. We ate like four pieces on the way, on the way back to camp, but it still feels pretty heavy. Oh yeah. Whoops, we'll eat one more, one more piece. Save that for tomorrow. Oh, I dropped a piece of pepperoni. You gonna get it? Right there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Hudson's eating dinner over there. We got pizza right up there. Ugh. Ugh. It feels nice out here, but my feet are a little cold. So I'm standing in the sun to try and warm them up. Huts, you're looking beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I was thinking that the temperature has dropped. Like it feels like it's gotten colder outside. It was like 65 when we got back to camp around like one o'clock, 1.30. It's 3.30 now and it's 55 degrees. So it definitely has dropped. Um, and it's cloudy. Like, it's not the blue skies that we had earlier. So I was like, hmm, this is interesting. I was like, let me look at the weather. There's a 100% chance of rain slash snow tomorrow. All day, pretty much. Um, and then on Saturday, there's a 70% chance of snow and the temperatures just really drop. It gets down below 30. So, I'm not really, like, looking to move out of here. I don't want to drive anywhere. And I don't know how far we would have to drive to get out of this snow. So I'm thinking we're just going to weather it. We're just going to friggin' figure it out. We've got enough food and water. We, are, we should be good for several days. Um, so yeah, we might be dealing with a snowstorm tomorrow and the next day and possibly continuing on beyond that. But it's already 3.30, like I'm not trying to get out of here and drive somewhere to avoid it. So if we're gonna be in it tomorrow, we're just gonna be in it. We can't even see Hudson anymore. He's been carrying a stick and just continuing to truck along up there without me. We can see the prescribed burns going on over here. Oh, we still do not see Hudson. I'm betting he's gonna be laying down chewing the stick. Or he's or he's continuing to carry it all the way back to camp. Oh, did you drop the stick? You had to come back and make sure I was coming, I know. You're going so much faster than me. Yeah, that's the stick that he has. I thought you would be laying chewing it. That's nice. Can we show everyone how nice of a stick it is? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. In case we need to have a fire in the next couple days, I gathered some wood and I've got it under my car here to keep it dry. There's some more over there too. Uh, that's as much as I'm going to gather. I don't think we're going to have a fire, but if we need to start one, we have wood that will hopefully be dry. Uh, right now, I'm going to get my blanket out and get my workout in. Day 16. It's time to work out. I'm going to record the first 10 of my, of my set of 100. First 10, Huts. Count them out with me, buddy. Ready? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, whew, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten squats. If only we had to do ten, not a hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, ninety more of everything to go. You want to play ball? Bring it over. Drop it. You ready? I'm all done working out and Hutz wants to go for another walk. It's only like 420 so we can. So we're gonna. He decided to bring his ball on this walk. We'll see how long he ends up carrying it. I think he's gonna drop it pretty quick and I'm gonna end up having it in my pocket. Hi, Huts. You wanna brush your teeth? I think my Hutsy boy over here is ready for bed. 
Hold on. Let me take your collar off. Uh, Alright, hop in. There's a good boy. Yeah, you can go in the back if you want. I'm just gonna collect his toys in case it does snow. I want them all in the same area. Which, actually, we only have two out here, so that's not too bad. <laughs> 